So I'm gonna move a little dirt with All right, so here's today's project. I've got this, I'm gonna use this for a riser right here. And it's gonna weld to this. And then this is gonna weld to the top. And then the ram X grip is going to bolt to that. And all that then is gonna go right here. I took this bolt out so I could see the size of it, but it's actually gonna bolt right there. And I got plenty of room up under there. And I'm gonna drill through here and put a second bolt in that base plate of that thing. So the phone's gonna end up sitting up right here. It's not gonna interfere with the joystick or anything like that. But it's gonna be sitting right up there to my to my right where I can see it. Cool thing is there's a cigarette lighter plug right there. Where I can plug it in, I can charge it and stuff like that. But it's gonna make it uh, pretty handy having it uh having it right there like that. So I'm gonna uh, weld this thing up. Get it, get it welded up. I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole right here. I got that center punch right there. I'm gonna drill that hole, get that done, and uh, I'll let y'all watch. That. Sixty-fourth from what I just drilled right there in that order to get it. We'll be just right. Oh, it's still a little tight. It'll go. I think it'll go. Let's do this. Another 64. I said don't need much. Told you. Alright, got that drill. Thank you. 
You know, it's getting serious when you have to pull out the calipers and start checking things because I want this thing to fit tight. So I'm looking for a particular drill bit, and it's easier rather than trying to read the daggum uh, writing on these things. There we go, right there. That's the one I'm looking for, right there. Just stick a caliper on it and check it right quick. That's all I got to do. So I got one hole drill. Use a transfer punch to mark this next one right in the center. Alright, she marked. Perfect. That's the beauty of a uh, transfer punch. If you don't have some, get you some. Alright, we're gonna install this new foam mount here. I've got the grip mounted to it. And I've got uh, I've got some anises on both of these bolts here. I can just keep them Getting that stuff all over me. A dab of D, man. Get it started. Started. One, two. I drilled and tapped this one here when I when I did it. I, Tapped it so I didn't have to put a, a bolt on it, a nut on it. I mean, sorry about that. And keep the ratchet part of the wrench on it. This is those Milwaukee wrenches right here that they sent me. They gave to me. They got the flank. Flint dry on the open end. This cover, I think covers, I think that's the ECU in there that it covers. So it actually worked out really good to have it right here. When I drilled through this one right here, I made sure that I wouldn't hit it or anything like that where it went right down beside it. So. Man, yeah. That dog's gonna hunt. I just had somebody trying to call me from a number that I don't have in my phone. I rarely answer numbers like that. So there it is mounting. You can see the mount down there. And where it holds the phone, I went with the X grip rather than a magnet mount because that way if uh, whoever might be up here, if they don't have a plate on the back of their phone or their uh, case you can still put in this 
egg skirt right there. So we'll um, I'll test it, see how it works. But I believe I'm gonna like it. It's probably gonna vibrate, gonna move a little bit while you're tracking and stuff like that. But that'll be fine because most of the time you're just gonna be uh, setting steel, things like that. But it'll make it a lot handier right there. That's for sure. As far as the lights go, I was studying this thing. And you see that yellow and black right there? That's light, so I saw that right there. All I gotta do is plug right into those. That's the light wires right there to wire the rest of the lights up. Pretty cool. This is what I'm doing with the lights here. Let me come over here and show y'all. So I use plug-in connectors and crimp them on and they're inside let me tilt the camera back just a little bit y'all probably can't see them too well they're inside this loom right here and plugged in and then it runs up so i actually put the floorboard back in it now you can see where they run up i got them zip tied right there run up catch it right there and then up to here so i'm gonna uh splice everything in right here is what i'm about to do Go ahead and get the lights on there, all that stuff, get her get her going. And uh, make all my tie ins, I'm gonna grab this one and that light over there and then, and then come back up across over here and catch these lights right here. All right, I'll show y'all where I'm at right now. I've kinda had to do this project, kinda broken up a little bit, but got those two up there and the two in the back. I got the two in the back wired up already. Uh, now I'm gonna come this way with wires and catch, catch these up here now. So it's actually working very, very well uh, using heat shrink uh, tubing on all the connections where I've joined them with butt connectors, uh, heating it up, making it shrink very, oh, let me get the camera where you can see, big dummy. Works very, very nice. Uh, it's too dark to see, it won't focus right there. There, let's see. I ain't gonna focus. I'll get some light. So here's the heat shrink stuff that I'm using. Came off of the uh, Amazon. There's a link on it in my Amazon link. And I'm not playing. I'm just using a torch to make it shrink real quick. That's what we're doing. All right, so this is what it looks like here outside in the black dark. If you don't like the dogs barking, you just need to go on away now because they're gonna bark. So you can see the three on the front. We'll hop up on the machine where you can kind of see I'm gonna need to twist them just a little bit. I'll get them aimed. Look at the back back here. Dang it, boy. I'm in the back. I need to turn the two on the front. I need to turn them both out a little bit. I mean, not ones on the back light up this whole thing. And that's what I need them to do on the front right here, too. Let's climb up on here. So you got good light right here. You can even see the ground on the side right here. I'll get them aimed a little bit, turned out some. I am very, very happy with how this, somebody's coming up the driveway there. That's probably Hunter and Anna Cade right there. Turn this one on the right a little bit out, some right there. Oh yeah, that's the bomb diggity right there, man. Very cool, very cool. Now I can see. to the tips of the teeth out there now. Let's see what happens when I roll this. Yeah, this one on the right needs to be turned just a little bit. You can fill in some of this black spot over here. Well, I'm very happy with this over here as well as I can see. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're going to turn them off. So you can kind of see the difference. 
Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna move a little dirt with it. Y'all can watch and listen to the dogs bark. I think it's cool, man. Very cool. I'll show you all my phone here, too. I forgot I had my phone mount in here. It wasn't even. You can see I sitting right there in the X group right there. Just right, so I'm running. And, uh,. swung that bucket that three-foot bucket full out like I did the machine ain't gonna have no trouble handling that three-foot bucket with dirt in it at all no problem whatsoever put her up in the shop here so can't beat that had the machine two weeks a day and already put lights on it full cell lights on it full amount on it I just wish people would <laughs> They see something and they're like, dude, you need to do this, you need to do this, you know, with the lights. I was very well aware of that, but, um, you know, some of that stuff, it takes a little bit of time to figure out how you're going to do it and run the wires and all that stuff. I thought the job turned out very, very nice. I got everything, everything's in wire loom. Uh, 
heat shrink on all the connectors and all the butt, butt connectors too. So next on the agenda for it is I'm going to put uh, the plates on the back of both buckets and we'll do the two foot bucket first. It won't take but a little bit to do that. Do that and then I'm going to build a really cool hitch that's going to go on the back of the blade, right behind the blade that I can bolt and unbolt if I want to take it slap off. And it's going to have a receiver in it so that I can hook a utility trailer or something to the Mini and I'd tow it around with me and I'd pick up limbs and spin around and set it on a utility trailer as I'm driving around and I'd drive where I'm going and offload them. And, uh, or I can put a receiver in it with a clevis on it and, uh, with a rope or whatever I need to do. So I've got a couple more neat little things that, uh, that I'm going to do to, to make it more, uh, user friendly. Uh, I will be back in the woods. Y'all be watching this Thursday. I will be back in the woods Thursday unless we get rained out. Uh, I have been sick as a dog uh, last few days, so um, I'm back. Not a hundred percent, but I'm, I'm back. I'm back close to it. I meant to say something about this earlier in the week or last week too. Man, I just I forgot about it. Uh, Northport Power Equipment in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, they're the Husqvarna dealer over there and Chad Ganey, which is one of the H team members, their carver that they've got that, that does wood carving. Chad is bad to the bone. He was in one of my Husqvarna videos, met him at uh, Biltmore up there and talked to him. He was there today, which was April the 3rd and he'll be there again tomorrow, April the 4th. So go by there and check Chad out and, and the guys over there at, uh, Northport Power Equipment and, uh, they they've got the new saws over there too at least they did before today i don't know if they sold them all today or not but they did have the new saws over there so go over there and uh and check them out but i'm glad y'all appreciate y'all watching and following along so i'll be able to with the machine now i'll be able to run day or night or whatever you know whatever i want to do and uh and then i got several other things that i'm going to do to improve it also i want to get one more bucket for it and uh and all that the next project will be uh the led lights on my gooseneck i'm gonna be doing that and uh get that get that little project done and i think i'm gonna go ahead and paint the gooseneck too while i'm at it uh i want to upgrade next year on the gooseneck so we'll get into more of that later so we'll catch y'all there later taters